Pisces. Hello, hello. This reading is for those of you that have strongly Pisces in your chart. Please have in mind that this is a general reading. So the messages that will come through may or may not resonate with you. If you are interested in a personal reading, all the information you need is below in the description box. Okay, Pisces, let's see. Pisces. King, uh, Queen of Cups is your energy. Pisces, please. The Nine of Swords. Okay, this is Sleepless Nights. Worrying about something. Pisces. Some of you are worried um, about your job, your finances, your career, your 3D life. Okay? Pisces. Some more shuffles, please. For Pisces. Okay. We are ready. Pisces. On the bottom of the deck, we have the lovers. Okay. Five of Cups. Four of Wands, the Eight of Wands, Eight of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. This is your energy. Okay. Two of Cups. Okay. Four of Pentacles, three of Cups. Okay, so why this is happening to me? This is a big question, right? Why is this happening to me? Well, actually it's happening for you, not to you. Okay? And it's hard. It's hard to get it because there is a lot of disappointment here. There is. Okay? And you do need to let go of, of something that is slowing you down. Okay? Please, this is not for all of you. It's not for all of you. If this doesn't resonate, it does not resonate. Okay. Pisces. So there is some of you that are focusing on what is perceived as a loss. Okay. I'm also sensing loneliness. There is love around you, but you're not, at this time, you're not paying attention. You're just not. You're not paying attention to the Two of Cups. Two of Cups is love. She is focusing on the Three of Cups that are spilled. So she is focusing on what is perceived as a loss. Okay, but this is changing for you, which is very good because you're turning your back to whatever is holding you back to whatever is like not working out. It's not making you feel good. You're turning your back to that. Okay, but you're not, you're doing it with, 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 uh, you see, you don't want to let go. You don't, you don't want to, I don't know why. But you just don't want to let go. It's hard. Okay. I get it. It's hard. Because I don't know what happened to your life. I have no idea what happened to your life. But something was really, really, really sad. It was like, 
you know, maybe you got fooled or you got someone manipulated you or someone, um, I don't know, stole something from you, even your heart. I don't know. I'm just saying. Maybe there was just like a, a, a literally a loss. Someone you really loved passed away. Could be. Life goes on. And I know it's, you know, it's like, yeah, it's easier said than done. Whatever happened to you here is done. And you are guided to move on. You are guided by spirit to move on. You're definitely not alone. Even if you do feel lonely, you're not alone, Pisces. You're just not. You're not. You, many times when we don't feel good inside of us, even if we, you know, we have a lot of people around, still we are very lonely. We, we feel lonely. We don't feel good. We just like... Like something's missing, even if nothing's missing. Okay. Someone wants to see you. Someone wants to spend time with you. This could be a friend, a family member, someone from your past. I want to clarify the Eight of Wands. Accept the invitation. This is what I'm hearing, okay? Accept the the invitation. Eight of Wands. It will help. It will do you good, yes? Okay. You will have a good time with this person. Yes, you will spend quality time with this person. Maybe you haven't seen them for quite some time. Now you already have a foundation with this person. So again, this is someone you know. This is not someone new. This is someone that you know. Yeah, you see what I mean? Someone that you have history with. You see this, they're having a drink here. You could also, maybe in the past you did have some kind of conflict with this person. Um, and again, there was a, a, a bit of a, um, a, a distance between the two of you. But again, I keep feeling that someone wants to heal this connection, that wants to reconnect. Yes, that wants to share, wants to share with you. Ten of Cups. Mm. We also have the page of cups on the bottom of the deck. So again, I keep feeling that this is a good, this is good, like, um, this is, um, this is a good energy. I, I feel it's that, that some of you will accept this person's offer. Could be an earth sign, a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Again, I keep sensing that this is someone that wants to really, really share with you. They miss you. They want to share with you. Okay. Moving on to the Eight of Cups, please, for Pisces. Thank you, Spirit. We have the Four of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. Maybe this is also a good chance when you meet with this person, when you come together with this person again, to, 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 to communicate things that you have kept inside of you, that you haven't expressed, okay? Maybe this also could be your desire 
to connect with this person, to, 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 um, that you could be the one that is initiating, it could be that you are initiating, that you are inviting this person to, to talk, to, to go out, to, to, um, have a heart to heart conversation. Maybe this is something that you are thinking of that you have in your mind. Some of you will, will also take the action to, um, you know, to get to see this person or talk to this person. Okay. Yes. And we will bring a lot of change. We have transformation here. And I feel that it's going to be only for the best, for the, for the better. And we have the lovers on the bottom of the deck. Okay. Purifying the death card, please, for Pisces. Purifying the death card for Pisces. Thank you. We have the nine of wands. This is the wounded, the wounded um, with the lovers here. The wounded heart. Mm. But I feel that some time has passed and you have healed. Even though the, the scars are there, the wounds are there, you have healed. You're very confident here with the energy of the Queen of Wands. Yes. I'm also hearing that some of you mm, are, are just letting go of this old story. You're just let, letting go of this old story. Yes. This Knight of Cups here is telling me a lot. Because this could be an offer on the table, or there was an offer on the table, but you rejected this offer because of your, of your wounds, out of fear. This could be someone new for some of you. Yes, this Knight of Cups could be someone new. Yes, yes, the star. But again, we have this healing energy. So maybe you are just starting to, to date again. It's like giving yourself permission. Permission. This is weird. Right? Yes, to have fun again, to, 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 to love again, to fall in love again. So this person could be someone new. Mm. This communication that is taking place here, this, this message could be with someone new. Or with someone that you, you, you did not explore your, your, your connection like fully, you did not have that chance to fully explore this, yes? And you just want to give it another chance, another go. Could be, yes. Very fine, please. The star with the Knight of Cups for Pisces. We have the Nine of Cups. Yes, and the Empress. So this is really, really good. And the Two of Cups. You see? They're at the park. You know, talking. Sharing. Mm. You see how from this heavy energy, we're, we're getting more light here. So the energy goes lighter and lighter. Mm. Do you find, please, the Queen of Cups? Piscean energy. Thank you, Spirit. Of the Page of Cups. This is nice, I'm telling you. And the Emperor. Mm. This is, again, an invitation. That looks promising. Like even if it doesn't go like if it doesn't, it's maybe it's not a romantic. This could lead to a, a, a friendship. 
okay? This is something though very good that will bring like joy in your life. So I, I'm not seeing you turning this down. Actually, I'm seeing you being very like into it, optimistic. Even though your heart was broken in the past. Again, you're giving this, you're giving yourself a second chance. You're giving life. Yes. Yes. The two of wands is all about you focusing in the future, you know, in front of you, not in the past. And you are optimistic, even though you're not seeing, okay? We don't know what will come. We don't know what the outcome will be. But you are ready here. I feel a lot of you are ready to explore new things, new connections. Yes, very nice. You have been a hermit for quite some time, Pisces. Yes. You have been a hermit quite some time. Mm. While you were a hermit, a lot of things have changed inside of you. A lot of things. Like the way how you view life. Your perspective on things has changed. This is good. Let's see what is your message. For Pisces, please. For Pisces. Yes. Dolphin. Oh my goodness, yeah. Okay, so... I understand communication from others, including what isn't said. Peacefulness and playfulness are mine now and always. I go with the ever-changing flow of life, willingly and joyfully. I breathe deeply and oxygen replenish re replenishes my body. Every breath I take increases my life force and vitality. Do you notice that you hear or know what people think, even if they don't say it out loud? Are you aware of the thoughts and feelings of animals and nature? Be aware of your breath to align and balance you. It is time to accept that you are a naturally good communicator and embrace your ability to express yourself. Communing, communing. Communing, communing with nature enables you to realize the oneness of life. Allow your connections with nature, excuse me, allow your connection with nature to expand your spiritual, spiritual awareness. And the dolphin is very playful. Mm -hmm. The dolphin also is not alone. It's like in groups, right? Mm -hmm. For Pisces, please, for Pisces, thank you. We have butterfly, Transform, uh, transformation, growth, new cycles, affirmation. I embrace the transformation that empowers me to fulfill my divine potential. You are growing. You may not realize it or know how things are going to work out but they will do so at the right time. Do not be afraid to let go of the world, your plans, or the ways of being you have known. Your higher self is guiding you into the next level of authentic self-expression. This will be quite different to your past experiences. Expect the unexpected and know you will be able to thrive in the new worlds that are currently unknown to you. Embrace your, per your process when the time is right, you shall be ready. <laughs> this is what I got for you, Pisces. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.